Hello Bambinos, we are back on the VGC Rank Ladder today and when I say we, I of course have Matrix with me. Uh, you can say hi and tell them what we've got for them today. Yo guys, it's me Matrix here. Uh, today we have got what I like to call, but it was inspired by a fellow VDL um, coach. Um, it's Bird Bomb. It's, the whole team is kind of based around Kilowattrel and Talonflame. We've got the new ability for Kilowattrel, Wind Power which is an ability that activates a like charge effect um, on Kilowattrel when hit by a one of the new wind moves, or Tailwind is activated on your side of the field. So using Talonflames, Gale Wings, the aim of the game is to get Tailwind up and Life Orb, Kilowattrel doing huge damage with Discharge or Thunderbolt. Yeah, yeah, it's been uh, pretty strong. And also we've got... Um... Like, Oranguru is kind of our counter trick room. If, like, they see that it's obvious Tailwind, we can get Oranguru up. And with the telepathy and the instruct, like, we can be going first and still getting, like, double discharges off or double earthquake salt with the Garchomp, which is really nice. Yeah. And then we've also got our um, Volcarona, which is a set of Volcarona, which can be helped along very nicely by the Follow Me Mouse Hold. So um, we'll jump right on the ladder and get into our first game and show you what we can do with this team. All right, so we've got a game here, and they've got uh, Gengar, Dragonite, Cerulege. Oh, they've got the, the Merc Dengo. Merc Dengo. And they've already locked in. Hello. Ooh. Um, I mean, our Tailwind is seems... stronger, right? Yeah, our Tailwind is stronger. I usually, especially like Murkrow and stuff, I usually like to offset the Tailwind by one by double protecting, so we might yeah. have to double protect this turn. Um, I think Volcarona needs to come. Because it can hit big into High Dragon and Goldengo. Uh, Chomp can hit big into the whole team except for Murko. That's true. Might be a Garchomp game. Let's do it. So we'll bring the Chomp in the back. They locked in very early. That would tell me that they're going for the generic Merc Dengo lead, but maybe not. <laughs> I know a I know a wind powered thunderbolt from one shot of Golengo. Gengar Cerulej, not what we thought at all. No. Um, I still say, uh, Gengar could be Sash, but like, honestly, these two mons can get destroyed by a, a discharge. So I think we just go for the tailwind discharge turn one. Uh, no, no terrestrialize. Uh, pff, good. Good question. Cerulege, I don't know if it's got lower spin F. Um, you know what? Go for it. Go, 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 ter go, Terra. Go, Terra. What, on I think it might be on, 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 no, on Killer. Killer. Let's just commit. I think there's probably a Sash on one of these. On probably the game. Yeah, I think, I think, I think there will be a Sash on one of these as well. We just gotta be careful of that. It could be a Scarf as well, but I don't think Scarf outspeeds Tailwind here. Unless they Shadow Sneak and Scarf Gengar into the Talonflame. They could, but this Discharge will still do big damage regardless. My shiny Kilowattrel that I found. Oh, there's the Tailwind, so nothing... Yeah, no priority from that. No Protect either. We're just going to Discharge. Probably got to be a Sash on that Gengar. Yeah. But Cerulej is down, which is nice. Cerulej is dead and down. As long as Talonflame doesn't get paralyzed here. Some of the angles are so weird. Like, why is this so zoomed in? I know, oh, right? we paralyzed the Gengar. That's even better. I wonder, do we get a full power at the same turn? No, Icy Wind, which is going to boost us again. Yeah, Icy Wind is just going to boost our damage. Oh, it stays. Um, no, it stays. It's just charge, isn't it? It's not. It doesn't stack. But they've got the Murkrow Kilowatt. to come in now. Um, that's true. Kilowatt short minus one now. Hmm. So if they get the Tailwind up, is Golden go faster? I think Volcarona should, should be right here because uh, Kilowatt short can go for its discharge uh, or Thunderbolt, um, and Volcarona might be able to go for a uh, Quiver Dance. Dragonite. This is Thrasalizing if I've ever seen it. I think we just Thunderbolt the uh, Dragonite. 
Do you really think Quiver Dance, or do we think take out the Gengar? No, I, I think I think we take out the Gengar now. Like, uh, if the Miracle came out, I think we Quiver Dance, but I think we just take out the Gengar. Go for the uh, Fire Dance into Gengar. So really just dead. So yeah, I was just checking what they had in the back. Uh, there could be an E speed into Kilowatt. <sighs> yeah, I'm just trying to think if we've got enough defense investments on Kilowatt to survive an E speed. I don't think we do to survive a banded one. But we've already taken an icy, icy wind and life orb chip. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Um, it's okay. We've got guard jump in the back. Uh, this should kill Gengar here. To be fair, if they want to e speed into Volk, they're risking getting burned. Yeah. Oh, we got a special stat boost. Nice, nice, nice. We'd love to see it. Okay, so their last mon. Murkrow or it's Dango? I would call Dango Murkrow. Hi, Dragon. We're faster still, I think. Tailwind's still up. Yeah, they didn't bring We're faster in. anyway. So they're going to e-speed into Volk here. I can't really EQ. What do I do? Um, I think we just Dragon Claw, High Dragon. And what? Um, either Bug Blast, High Dragon to get the, the KO, or uh, Fiery Dance, because we got Ruskin and Garchomp as well. I'll double into the High Dragon here, yeah. Oh no! Wow. If you go Fiery Dance, or yeah. Protect. Ah, nasty, nasty. That was smart on their part. So they're going to get another E-Speed off here. Probably yeah, this two at KO Volcaro, isn't it? Ah. Uh, should do if if it's if a it doesn't burn. Um, if it, doesn't banded, burn. it could not it could one shot <laughs> oh strangle okay so it's not banded Oof. we do survive but the problem is here he e is that uh he speeds i'm gonna attempt to protect and bug buzz the, hy the hydra yeah i think that's gonna be the best bet A lot of these Hydras are specs, I've noticed lately. E speed into the chomp protect, very nice, very nice. And we're faster, please. Yeah, we're faster. Plus one bug buzz. Hydra is down, okay. So now he's got a choice to make. Well, no, I think he actually dead ass has to E speed. Yeah, so what was the tail we had the tailwind still look for that turn. <laughs> um yeah, we're gonna have to drag claw or iron head uh, dragon claw here. You think dragon claw? Uh, it's uh well you can iron head on the off chance that he doesn't go for a uh, e speed. Yeah, I think and flinch the flinch, flinch jump. Yeah. Um but... uh, Bug Buzz is the bit is the more damage. They have the e speed guard chomp, but they'll take a little bit of rough skin and then a plus one yeah. bug buzz. So they do e-speed the guard chomp. It's whether this kills, which I doubt. I don't know. Plus one bug buzz. I'm resisted. Yes, Volker. Oh, we crit. We'll never know. We'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to know. It's fine. But Volker put in that game. Yep. Volker did the work. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't bring the, the Merc or Gold Ingo at all. That's kind of crazy. Aye. I'm, I'm shit at times. <laughs> Once again, we've got the Merc Dengo and then the Annihilate Tandem Owls. No, what's that called? Mouse Hold. We've got one as well. Garchomp. Wow. Meta. Absolute meta. Yeah. This team. Um, so the problem is here is that the Bird Brain or the Bird Bomb doesn't do as well into both the dragons on this team. Uh, but we do have Will-O-Wisp option with Talonflame, at least for the Garchomp. I think High Dragon's definitely coming, and I could see like a Mirko High Dragon lead or a Mouse Hold High Dragon. Um, I'm still happy to go for the same lead. <laughs> Who in the back? Uh, I definitely want Volcaron in the back. And I'm just trying to think if we bring Garchomp or not. Garchomp doesn't often do that well into those matchups, but Garchomp does hit all these mobs pretty well. Um... 
But ours is a little bit slower than most, I think. I think we'll bring it, because I don't... Tandem Elves is just going to be like a follow me button here, because of the ghost and the, uh, yeah, the two ghosts. Just... Yeah, I think Grunch you are. Right. skin. I don't think it's going to be doing all that much work. Other than maybe to set up Orgrona, but... Yeah, even Orgrona I don't think it's going to be too... Would have been too good. Uh, so there is options for going for a, like a trick room option with the Oran Guru, especially against like Tailwind, Mercro, but uh, I just want to know. If we do see the Mercury leave, I think, I think we go for the uh, double protect to get the staggered Tailwind. Yeah, yeah. But I can see High Dragon coming on leave. Mercury Chomp. Ooh, God, Chomp. Uh, this makes things awkward. Uh, I think we go for. Um, we need the ah shit. We we could whip we could tear a ground and wisp the uh, bar chomp because there is a rock sliding coming here. Yeah. Um, or we could just ignore it and go for the uh, uh, double protect here if you want. Um, who have we got on the back? Bar chomp. We might need to swap in bar chomp. On kill watchful. Um, I, 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 yeah, Wisp and oh, I, protect, I, protect, protect and guard shop switch. Yeah, but like our guard shop's not max speed, so if theirs is... It's fine, what you do is you protect and then Wisp the next turn, if needs be. Or protect and Tailwind the next turn, and then Wisp it. So it's going a little bit more defensive this way, but... Uh, should be okay. So it's the rock slide. Uh, so now they've got tailwind. I need to tailwind, right? Yeah. So this turn we have to tailwind. Um, I don't mind losing the guard chomp so much, but I think we protect. Just tailwind, and, tailwind, and protect, and then the next turn we wisp. It's the only the bad bit is if they go for like a, a taunt play with a mercro. <laughs> So yep. we can't waste the turn after here. Yeah. Go for the rock slide, and I, I imagine maybe a foul play into the Grishon. I'm really hoping that they don't go for a foul play into the Talon Flame here. <laughs> That's my only hope. They go into the Grishon. Nice. Okay, and now this is the turn we can wisp the Garchomp. I've not time. had a lot of luck with all of this in this game. I'm not going to let you. Ah, don't you worry. Don't you worry. It will work. Are we hitting it as well? Um, I think we get rid of the Mercro with an Iron Head here. Just go go for it. A Dragon Claw and Iron Head into the Mercro. Oh, I can only go for one. Yeah, go for Dragon Claw. <laughs> oh, nice protect. They take out the... The good That's uh, that, that's a shame. It was a good play by them. And they might have been a little. Oh bit wow, that's Evie Light. Yeah. Ah, oh, into the tower. That's that's unfortunate. So this chomp's actually going to be a massive problem. Do we? Uh... Uh, we need Volcarona or Kilowattrol. Kilowattrol won't be as good afterwards if we don't bring it out now. Yeah, we can true. go for the air flash into the guard champ and hope for the flinch. Um, and earthquake maybe. Do you think just dragon claw into chomp's better? I'm I'm worried about it terroring into steel. Okay. Nah, nah, nice nah. big air flash. Yeah, that there's. Bad on my part. Oh, we're faster. Oh, ours is faster. Okay. Can't even see our own guard shot from here. That's kind of weird. And we lived that quite quite handily. That's nice. We could potentially go Disquake here. Cause, True. Because that would kill... Yeah. Yeah, I think that's safe. I think that's completely safe. Yeah, they're going to get a second tailwind up here, which is unfortunate. Wait, 
And ours is gone. No, ours is staggered. We got one more turn. Uh, uh, yeah, we, yeah, we've got an extra turn, but they're going to have it ready for this next turn, whereas ours runs out. Yeah, and then they're two months in the back of Tailwind. As long as that wasn't the speed side last turn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're going to have to rely on four Corona. Well, we'll see what they got. We haven't, we haven't terrored yet either, so we're going to have to terror grass. If we need to, if we tailwind, if we tailwind, if we terror, I imagine Very high good. dragon and uh, Golden. But okay, then just destroys us here. Like absolutely destroys us. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing around us. They, they did well. They got rid of the uh, the Merc They got rid of the talent play on the turn. So. Do we need to game. protect? Try and stall trick room uh, tailwind turns or not? Uh, I think we. I think we protect. We protect. Double protect. Try and give it's Volk as go, much as a chance good, as you can. Good. Yeah, it's going to go for make it rain. There's nothing we can do about that. I drink it's faster though. The Volcarona. Damn, I don't, I don't think we can win this. I think. No. Um, double protect, right? Pretty much. We're just having to double protect. We got Terra still, but they Dark Pulse us, so yeah, that doesn't make a difference. Yeah. N nope. Nope. Okay. Worth a try. The only saving grace is that this is going to be minus one, make it rain. True. We don't have protects on our. Hmm. On our Volcarona, no. We didn't terror here oh. either. No. I, so the only thing we can do is Quiver Dancer. This isn't even last turn in Tailwind, is it? Check. <laughs> so I, don't, I think uh, you're right. Oh, it is. It is. Uh, okay, yeah. So we, I think we quiver down. So it gives, the plus, gives us the plus one spin off. It's our only way out. Well, they gave before us anyway. But, um... Yeah, I know. But we got Citrus Berry, and they're at minus one. That could if actually it's come in. High, if it's Specs High Dragon, we might not be able to get away from it. Well, the Citrus Pops. If this gold in goes locked, we could clutch this out. Like we resist and he's minus one. Okay. So he doesn't kill us with the next one. No, especially now that we've quiver danced. I'm trying to think if we survive two. Because we got, we got a bug. Yeah, we should be able to survive two from here. So we can bug buzz the uh, high dragon. Pretty confident that the make it this the make it rain isn't going to kill us. Yeah, but they could read that protect. Okay. Okay. Is Volk about to, like, save our ass two games in a row? Come on, Volk. This doesn't kill. There's no way. Minus two and QD. Nah, oh, my God. Yeah. Have they terrestrialized? Uh, they haven't. But, but I swear these always do steal Pirate, anyway. We have to have Pirate Dance no matter what. Yeah, oh my god, oh my god, be still. They're gonna, they're gonna, it's, I hope, it, it could be ghosts to try and live this. It's still, it's still. They should have done that last turn. They should have done that last turn. Yeah, they should have done that last turn. Come on, Volk. This should kill. It's a plus one. Let's go, Volcarona. Volcarona! <laughs> Clutching it out, big time. Did not deserve to win that one. <laughs> no, we really didn't. We really didn't. <laughs> oh god! I told you, Volcarona is really good for the team because it saves it when uh, <laughs> the birds don't work out. That's kind of crazy. Okay, yet another Merc Dingo and Garchomp again. Gardevoir. We 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 thought about Gardevoir for a little bit, didn't we? 
Yeah, you got the telepathy. It's really nice. I think it, it could be telepathy <laughs> and not Garchomp. Because if they do have Disquake themselves, the rogue's on the Garchomp. Yeah, Garchomp really makes me not want to leave Kilowattro. Yeah, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. Hasn't been good so far leading it. Um, Tamping Chomp though. Maybe, yeah, might be their best option. But we need to be able to hit the Rotom. So I say Volk again in the back because it's just been insane. Yeah, Volk only has to come. I think the Watcher is all right in the back. We can remove the Garchomp a little bit quicker this time. If we get, yeah, if we get rid of Chomp, Killer Watcher was nice. Let's try it. Killer Watcher was meant to be can... the focus. Yeah, we can um, stagger the Tailwind if need be again. Because I still think that was important. Um, I'm thinking this time there is a realistic possibility we tear the Talon Flame. Terra ground to stop it from getting dying to those rock slides. Yeah, but then we can't click Earthquake. Yeah, but we wouldn't be hitting Earthquake in front of a Murkrow anyway, really. So only if um, the Garchomp terrors into Seal or something, which would be annoying. But we can Will-O-Wisp the Garchomp more reliably then. Yeah. Like, we wouldn't have to go for a Protect turn 1. They're, they're going to... Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, they've, they've decided. They've decided. I'm starting to get worried then. But it doesn't time out anymore anyway, does it? We, we already talked about Yeah. That. If you've got them once clicked, that's the ones it takes. Okay, here we go. Gardevoir and Rotom. Gardevoir and Rotom. I kind of want to just hard Terra, guard jump and iron hit that Gardevoir. Yeah. We could do. We've got to be careful of Wisp Rotom, but... Do I get the wind up and just Iron Head? I don't even know if we need to Tailwind, but... Well, I'm just There's nothing else the we can really yeah. do here. Don't really want to switch in, do we? No, I think... We could Protect. We could... Uh, I don't see what that yeah, does. Could... No, because they might, they might uh... just Volt Switch into the Time Flame. Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll Protect turn one. And I'm going to Iron Head the Gravity. Um... Okay, they're switching out Guardi. If it's Arcanine, I, okay, Garchomp's okay. I think they go for a dis discharge here. Pump straight into. Oh, I had pump. That did a lot. That did a lot. Oh, and it's Scarf, by the way. Yeah, you're right. So it's not. Do we do we try and wisp this chomp? Um, if we protect, uh, if we if we go for a wisp, we don't get tailwinds. I think we have to get tail. Yeah. Okay. Agreed. Uh, we have to get tailwind and either protect chomp or dragon claw. We're going to lose it otherwise. Let's do anything. I think we have to protect yeah, just to get ahead of the um, roton. I think he's going to tear a steel here. Terra ground. It's this okay. quick. Okay. But he's he's already revealed Scarf. So he's not hitting the flame here, and we protected. Right? Yeah. And no, he did we it defensively. Tailwinded. We, 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 we tailwinded here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And protected the chomp. So yeah. if, if he does EQ, it's not an issue. Hopefully he goes for the Hydro Pump, not into Tower Flame, but I think he will. But it's a sash. Dragon Claw into Guard Jump, nice. Guard Jump, that's fine. Wait. Hydro Pump, Wait. it's not Scarfed, it was just faster that's than our scarf. jump. Yeah, which means it's max speed, because I think our guard jump 151. Okay, there, so now we out. wisp the chomp, yeah? Yeah. And Volcron in the back can deal with it with a Terra Grass, so I just get some damage on Rotom. Yeah, I, I agree with that. We land a wisp. Bloody hell. That's nice. That's going to really help. Dragon Claw into this Rotom. Does a hella chunk because we know it's offensive. Claw's going to take us out. He's going to take some more rough skin and burn chip at the end maybe, of the turn. Maybe uh, Hydro... Maybe Hydro Pump misses? <laughs> it, it felt like a set, but... No, there's the VS. Okay. Yeah, okay. We'll switch. Shame. Um, we've got the so we've charge got kill watch all, charge kill watch all, and talent. Uh, we've got our 
Volcarona, which will do big damage to the Garchomp here. I mean, Erosum's in the back. So what comes in here? Was this their lead? Uh, they got Gardevoir. Yeah, so they have Gardevoir. Um, I think we... Uh, ooh, what happens if they dish chat? What happens if they focus sash here? No, I think Kill Octo and Volcarona is fine. But we have to, yeah. The roots on in the back is like half health, and we don't know what their fourth one is. We've seen Dragon Claw. Uh, um, I think we just guided around the Garchon and Thunderbolt the Gardevoir. I just don't know if we need to Terror or not. Um, it's going to be running Psychic, Moonblast, maybe Icy Wind. No. Uh, I, I I don't really want to Terra here, but we might need to for the damage. Um, I kind of like... Just... No, folks fine against everything else in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. I'm going to Terra the Killer Watcher once on the Water Gardevoir. Yeah, okay. Sash, Sash I, is I actually kind of annoying, especially since they let it. Oh, I probably yeah, I should have double-targeted it because... I don't know, if it protected, I guess. I don't know. I think, no, we need, to, we need to remove Garchomp, in my opinion, because if it goes for like, rock sides, it's just annoying. Especially if we're not terroring the um... bulk, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's it's gonna it no protects. Still gonna do a bit. No protects. This is gonna do a lot. It must send it to Sash or Beyond. Oh, it doesn't evenly send it to oh, Sash. Goodness. Is that a V? Well, Garchomp goes down. The Trick Room here is actually uh, nasty. The thing is, is that if Tailwind wasn't active, if Tailwind wasn't activated on the turn, if Kill Watch wasn't on the field, does it not get does it get charged? I actually have no idea. It didn't pop up saying it. I've never seen anything live a, ch a charged Thunderbolt like that. That's that's my opinion. So I don't think it was charged to kill Watchful. Um, but we should it be okay to just um, fire down the god, uh, fire down the god of war or um, Giga drain the road on. I think we could technically double the road on, but what with with what? Bug buzz. Uh, no, go for Gaia Drain into the yeah. Um, bug. Oh, I don't know. Bug buzz the Rotom with Thunderbolt into it. I just don't want to do too much damage to our own. They uh, protect. We're good. We're good. We're good. I'm hoping Thunderbolt can kill. Yeah, Thunderbolt definitely kills. That's neutral damage, and it was offensive. Yeah, okay. I just didn't want Rotom to get a Hydro Pop off into Volk, because I feel like Volk's going to be key to the end game. They've got 1-1-1 one, one, one on the back, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to 2-1-1 one, one with Tailwind. Tail oh, Tailwind Ends here. Yeah, Tailwind Ends. But we do have a Life Orb from the Volk. As long as it's not Scarf called Dengo. Actually, Volcarina beats Step called Dengo, so... Yeah. Yeah, here we go. We keep doing this. We um, keep making teams to try and... Uh... Show off we them could on. we could quiver dance here and protect uh, quiver dance and attack because of just in I don't know I, just in case it is scarf it's not scarf this should just kill right okay. well actually it's not wind uh, it won't it won't without tailwind oh it will because we crit. oh it crit <laughs> <laughs> okay I, I know I was being a little bit too safe there but you never know you never know. And like I really like my quiver dance. Well, we managed to get Killer Ultra to do some work there at least. Yeah, did better coming in the back then. Yeah, I think when you see a guard jump, you kind of just have to. We've mm. already played this comp. Yeah, we did. It was Icy Wind, Gengar. Um, and the discharge was good on the first turn, but it was Sash. Sash, Gengar. Yeah. Yeah. But Killer Ultra really is yep. faster. Uh, actually, ours isn't because it's modest. Uh, our problem last, yeah. So maybe protect Colossal Tailwind and then. Yeah, but we need to somehow break the fucking gang. Yeah, okay, yeah, do that. Protect Colossal Tailwind. We bring Vulcan's uh, car jump back. Yeah, just wondering about because we need. We need to also break the sash on the Gengar. 
Which yeah, that's why we should be able to do if if they don't kill us turn one. If they don't kill Talonflame turn one, we should be okay. Yeah. Okay. Mercury and Dragonite. Remember E speed. I don't. We don't survive that. So we'll have to this turn attack and Will O Wisp. We didn't live if it's banded, right? We don't know if it's banded. No, no, no. We, we didn't live if it's banded. No, no, we don't live if it's we don't live if it's banded, and we don't live if it's not banded. Although with the Mercury being here, I doubt it's going to go for it. Why does it need to e-speed? Yeah, this is a bit weird. Maybe it's, if it's DD, that's a bit. I, 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 I still think uh, Wisp is fine here. I kind of like that the mons keep eye contact no matter like if they're flying or what. Look at the Dragonite's head bobbing, trying to keep track yeah, of the yeah, yeah. Killer Watcher. That's good. That's cool. There's the Tailwind. Hmm. It doesn't go for a thing, but. Okay, nice, nice, nice. So we keep our uh, girl wins intact. Yeah. And we break the uh, multi scale. If it's running, but yeah. We could go for a discharge here. We could. I think. I don't. I think it kills uh, Mercury. We haven't actually had a chance to see it, but I think a um, if we could go, we. I think we're perfectly free to ter terror discharge here. Terror discharge and tailwind, yeah. Um, yes. We have to, don't we? Yes. Because they, they haven't the tailwinded yet. Yeah. If it quashes, I'm going to be annoyed. <laughs> that, that's the idea of the thing. It's burned though, so I don't think they kill us. Yeah, it, we should be pretty safe now on this lead. Damage wise. Because it's also not going to be like Earthquake, is it? Onto two birds. Like, they can't risk that. No. Wind power is activated. No quash. This is a low four terrestrialized boosted discharge. Oh my god, D Knight lived pretty handily. That's fine. We got rid of the Mercro, which I think is important. Because he didn't get to attack this turn. Let's go, Killer Watch Roll. Dragon Claw into the Dragon Claw, the Talon Flame. I'm alright with that. Yeah, same. Garchomp can come out here. I think. Yeah. What's on the team? Goldengo, Hydreigon. Yeah, I think Garchomp's fine. I think Discreek's fine, because like if the if the Hydreigon Terra Steel. Good point. Well, you can't Discreek because we we have a electric type. Oh, electric was... terrain. Damn. That, yeah. That's fine. We we just discharge and uh, Dragon Claw. That's that's all we can do. If they tear, they're taking more from the discharge. If they don't, they're taking more. Yeah, exactly. Goal. Exactly. Their high dragon could be faster than I can't jump though. That's that's my only concern. Truth, unless we power it here. But it should be okay because if, if they, the only way they kill the um, Garchomp is through Draco, and if they they are going to thrust the laser here. <laughs> what should be yeah okay, poison fire okay. Oh, that's fine. We, we've hit it with a neutral. Ah, oh, Earthquake would have done it. No, no, no. Levitate. Oh, no. Levitate. 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 E-speed oh, so is isn't doing enough in us. Yeah, no. It won't do This is going to be a very powerful discharge. I doubt it kills. It won't kill. But they'll kill Killer Watcher here, and then we should finish them off. Me, oh, maybe not. Hmm. Unless we get a power here. Volt can't hit this thing, by the way. Let's go, Chomper. Yes! Uh, Kill Watchel! <laughs> Finally, Bird Bomb. Let's go. Finally, the bird lead comes in strong, and I guess Goldengo in the back. Oh, Cerulege. That's Which... fine. It just dies to a Thunderbolt. Uh, yeah, Dragon Claw. <laughs> I don't want them protecting, and then we EQ and kill her and kill Watchel. Yeah. Killer, killer Watcho! Excuse me? Oh, what? That didn't kill. 
Is the tailwind ends. Didn't matter if he's dead. But anyway. Yeah, it was, it was pretty pretty confident it was going to kill it here. I think Sir Lynch has higher down, higher spin F than uh, Armour Rouge. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but, okay. You know what? I'm happy with that. Yeah. Last uh, one kilowatt hole. We finally got a very good kilowatt hole game after having a, like, a good kilowatt hole game. So. Yeah. Yeah. I think we'll call it on that one and go to the uh, rental code. Alright guys, so that's going to be the end of the video. We got a fair few good battles there. Um, Volcarona really took off in the beginning in the first two games. And then we had a pretty decent game of Killer Watcher and the, and the bird lead. And then that horrible, just just horrible Gargle Knuckle encounter. Yeah, but it was really fun. I'm not going to lie. Like, I was really happy Killer Watcher got some, uh, for the stars, I think I was really happy that Killer Watcher got some good games with the uh, wind power. Uh, Volcarona was, honestly, it was such a lifesaver in so many games. We shouldn't have won uh, some of those matches if not for just Volcarona being amazing. Yeah, uh, and that game in Mousehold, my god, it it was so fair, much fun. It was quite like a display. Like we had to we had to play that in a certain way. We had to whisk the Taurus to make sure that Mousehold lived so that we could keep on coring the Garganacles. So I think it was quite well played on our end, even if like we kind of brought the wrong ones, so it was our own fault. Oh yeah, like it, we, we realized pretty early on, like. With the mons that we have in the back, we're going to have to just keep encoring this. We're going to have to, once we lost that Killer Watch, it was like, no, we're going to have to encore this and just remove it from the field. And I, they, 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 I think they could have got around it if they had just gone for like hard swapping out and just swapped out of the encores and stuff. But you know yeah. what? They didn't. And we, we take those. So yeah, here's here's the team and the rental team. You you can try it. It's, it's good. It's good fun. Um, Killer Watch, I, I managed to catch a shiny, so we wanted to use it. We wanted to use it anyway, but catching a shiny just solidified that. And uh, we had good fun with it. So um uh, Make sure you go and follow Matrix. I'll link him in the description below. And uh, we'll be back mm -hmm. with some more ladder stuff soon, won't we? Yeah. Looking so, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.